Hey, 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 how's it going, everyone? Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to have a look at why Stream Elements is still the king of bot services. But there's a but, so stay out in the end to find out more. Let's go. Once you get to the main page, you will be asked to log in with Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, or Trivo because this service is valid for these four platforms. I'm going to log in with my Twitch so I can show you the four functionalities. Tip. If you do more than one platform, make sure that you log in with all of the platforms that you do. And then from the top right, you can choose which platform go on and you can just switch without login. Pretty easy, eh? You're greeted by this dashboard, which is your main hub. And it shows you the followers, your subscribers, your tips, your hosts, your raids, and your bits for the last month. And then you can go back and see all the history that you had activity feed this will show you all the latest movements of your channel it will show you your followers your subscribers your bits everything in your history this is where you will see everything that has come through your stream from from your donation to the tips to the cheese uh, income report merch history keep in mind that this will show only stuff that has happened through your alerts with stream elements so if you've been using another service the other service won't show up here revenue history it will show you all your tips that you made from the beginning streaming tools you have two options overlay galleries or my overlay so this is the overlay gallery stream elements gives you quite a few overlays that you can add to your stream this is the full list and it's always updated. So see how many there are. There are quite a few. Now, um, if you click on each one of them, it will give you a bit of a preview on what they look like. And also it, it gives you some tips. So for example, some of them are animated and some are still. And it will say on the actual overlay if it's animated or not, for example. This first strike, this is animated Overwatch because it is optimized for Overwatch and it's a super team. Now, if you want to pick this one, you just click on create my overlay and then it will prompt you to go to your overlays and you have everything right here. To edit each one of them, you just go inside and you can change basically whatever you want. You can turn off and on from showing assets just by toggle the eye and you can pretty much change everything this is the main feature in my opinion of stream elements this because it lets you change everything about an overlay without the need of a software like after effects or davinci resolve you can just change it right here from internet and then once you're ready you just click on the top here and it will say copy overlay and then bam you just go back in your other obs or x splits stream labs i don't know if anyone uses still but you just copy the link and everything will appear this is very useful if you're just starting out and you just want an overlay that works also every single change that you make make sure that you save it Otherwise, you won't show in the stream. Also, for every single asset, you have settings. You can change the font, the position. If you go in the setting of the alerts, it gives you all the alerts. And for each alerts, you can change the image, the video, the sound, how it appears on stream. And you can change what it says. So instead of having it's now following, we just remove it. We change... We can add variation we can add text to speech text settings we can change the font we can change color we can change everything even the animation settings so let's make a flip out and then you go down to the bottom where it says emulate then follow the around there you go now do you see that it didn't appear so we'll adjust the margin and Et voilà. 
and, and it comes out so and you can do it don't forget to save every time and then you can do it with all the scenes that you find on here from the little single detail you can change everything now let's go back to the main page you have revenue sponsorship from time to time stream elements will have sponsorships like for example there was ray shadow legend in the past and there are always there are always new sponsorship coming out so stay tuned for that payments so here you can set up your payment method invoices payment history then se merch i don't personally use this service because i found a better service but if you're just starting out and you want some merch that is easy easy to make and ready to go you just come here create new item and you can do pretty much whatever you want let's pick t-shirt let's pick a t-shirt unisex tank top and it will come out as a new item you can select which color you want up to five and then you can add your own logo let's see if there is still my logo yep so you can add your logo and you can change as well the size and if you look on the bottom left it will tell you the quality of the print and you want to make sure that it's around 300 there you go so around 300 dpi if the image is very very small i will highly recommend to go onto a website that is called resizeimage.com and resize the image that way it will be big but it will have a good printing resolution when you're done you go next and you decide how much to charge on top of the of the item which is your cut on top of um, for example we want to see 30 it's 13 dollars profit uh, you can put a create a note if you want and you can call it tank top you can change then save and pu publish and it will come out in your store pretty cool eh <laughs> now it will give you a few more tabs which is marketing uh merge panel ready to go this is very very good if you're just starting because it gives you everything at your fingertip then payments so for example it will tell you so under payments it will tell you who bought what and then on the settings you can name your store i'm just gonna call it what was that store my e your email and then your storefront header image you can set a discount so if you stream on twitch this is very good because you can set percentage that you can give as discount to your viewers and it can be different between the different tiers of subscribers and then you can go have a look at your store just by clicking on go to store and here you go professional easy to make and ready to go tip in settings this is for when someone wants to tip to you you can change what the page looks like or uh, it is integrated with your stream so if you're going to tip settings you just put in your paypal email it will automatically update for your alerts as well on stream and you can do presets the possibility are endless now chatbot if you don't know what a chatbot is chatbot is your helper in chat during the stream now you have chat commands there are a few defaults go through it uh, if they are meaningful to you otherwise you can just turn them off like this and then custom comments this is the one that you make so for example you want to make a command for your landing page uh, exclamation mark socials or for example if you want to make a particular uh, message to pop in in chat for example your merch store exclamation marks merch and then so you put the exclamation with the command name and then the response will be either a link or it will be a message from you and then the user level so you can make it that everyone can trigger it or just a subscriber regular vip moderator super moderator broadcaster and then you activate the command done 
Now, you can manage your users. You know how on your channel, you can decide who's moderator, who's a VIP. This is the same thing with, uh, with the bot service. You can select different levels for each viewer. Then you got timers. Timers are very important because without you triggering anything, your bot by itself will put a message on your chat every so often. So for example, on my Twitch channel, I have the Prime reminder that someone can subscribe to me for free with Prime. And you have 15 minutes of interval in between um, the messages and also 15 lines. That's so if you have a couple of people in chat, the bot will not spam those messages because it looks very, very bad if you go into someone's stream and the only messages that you see are from the bot. So this is, this eliminates this issue. Now, modules. Modules are very, very good because they mini application inside your chat. So for example, uh, you can toggle the chat alerts so as it comes through your stream, it comes as well through your chat. And then you have the roulette game, bingo, raffle, emote pyramids. There are quite a few and, and you can have a live announcement. So if someone is in chat while you're offline with a live announcement, they will know that you're live. Then you got spam filters. You can enable basic filters because not everyone that pops in chat has good intentions. So also keep in mind that this is an automated moderator so you always want to make sure that it's doing the right thing so it is a good help but at the same time um, it's not perfect because it's a bot it's not a human so don't forget to keep an eye on it and then you have the loyalty you can do giveaways through this bot you can do viewer queue which is in, still in beta it's one of the new thing because uh, there are a lot of streamers that play with viewers so this just makes it easier so people can just join the queue and then you have all the list in front of you so you can go through from the first playing with the first and then going down then we have contest uh, we can create a contest which is basically a poll that you can make in chat through the bot which is all integrated so if you don't know what to play next for example or you want a feedback from your chat that's what you make in chat and in chat will come in the message and say will i win for example the next game and they can bet their channel not even the channel points they can bet the bot points that they've earned just by watching or interacting or subscribing or with everything that they did in chat, they can bet those points and you can set the minimum bet, the maximum bet and how much they get back. Leaderboard, this will be the leaderboard of your stream. So based on how much people have watched your stream and you will see how many points they have. Loyalty settings, your points that the bot will give, they are based on the interactions with the stream and with the streamer and you can set different settings for example multiplier bonus for a subscriber you can ignore users like for example if stream elements is in chat and you have a message every five minutes that come through the board you don't want the bot to get all the points you know otherwise it would be fair for your viewers right uh, so that's what you can do and then you got a stream store now this is very very good because most of the people won't even know that they're crew points. So once they realize, they're like, what am I going to do with those points? And that's where you make your store. This is all free to um, redeem just based on how many points a person accrue. You know, if they are very, very active, they will have a lot more points than someone that's just lurks, for example. People that have been watching you for a long time, they will have over some spare points and that's where they can use it. Now, under other, you can click on chat stats i never see the work so um i don't even know why it's still there you can do media requests so for example you found a good youtube channel with the mca free music you can get the people in chat to change the songs through the playlist and have one song uh playing instead of another you do want to make sure that it's the mca free music 
because otherwise you can get strike, you can get a ban. So just make sure that you use only DMCA free music. Now you have a profile page. This is not very, very helpful, but it's still there where you can add um, some of your socials. Um, I think they try to make a landing page. Um, they haven't optimized it yet but it's part of it as well. And then you have social media. You can set up automatic tweets. For example, every time you go live, you can get stream elements to organize a message as a tweet on your Twitter, reminding people that you're live with everything is fully customizable and you can put whatever you want. You can add, you know, other platform, but they're still coming out. Now, what do you think about stream elements? I truly believe that is still the king of the bot services because of everything that they offer and mostly because of the streaming tools that they have. Their software suite, it lets you change everything that you want without the need of Adobe After Effects or Resolve, which is the best service that I've found so far that works very well with the stream. Did I mention it but at the beginning? One thing that they do not do well, and I've been telling them for the past year, it is great, everything is great, but if you have more than one platform that you stream on, it is painful. So let's say you stream on um, Twitch, Trovo, YouTube, and Facebook, right? On all the four platforms, you wanna change one command, you gotta change it four times and this is a time waste and this is the only negative thing that i can think of about stream element bot service this video is not sponsored this is all my this is my opinion as a long-term user of stream elements let me know what you think down below don't forget that i stream as well every wednesday and friday at 8 p.m australian center center time have a good week and don't forget to pick the next video happy creating